Hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up Link on your Xbox 360, JTAG, and Reset Glitch consoles. So, this is not for any other systems. I'm just telling you right now, you have to have a JTAG or Reset Glitch. But the first thing you need to do is you need to load up your Dash Launch. Then you need to go down to Network and enable your Ping Patch. Mine has already been enabled but you just want to make sure that it is enabled to do this. That is required for System Link and it makes it a hell of a lot easier. So once that's enabled, you want to go back to Freestyle 3. You have to be on Freestyle 3 and let's go ahead and get this set up. Now right now as I make this, it's at the beginning of December, this is all still in beta. So it might not be perfect, but what you need to do is you need to go to your settings, general settings, and enable beta updates, then restart your Freestyle 3. Once Freestyle 3 restarts, you should be prompted with some updates, and with that you want to go back to your settings, general settings, and then you want to go down to updates. Now check all three updates for dash, skin, and plugin updates, and then press Y to apply selected updates, and just let everything download. Now once everything is downloaded, it's going to give you this prompt right here. You can do either, but normally what I like to do is return to NXE, just so I have a completely fresh start. So you can pick whichever one, but what you need to do is just restart Freestyle 3 somehow. And if you're into NXE, all you have to do is just relaunch it. Mine's set as default, so I just need to go to Xbox Home, and it'll bring up this screen. When this screen comes up, you just press Y to begin installing everything, and it will install the three updates that you just downloaded. Alright, now right here you might get a crash warning. Now this is completely normal. What you want to do is just when you go back to your NXE, go ahead and give it another shot and if you still get the crash, just go ahead, turn off your console, turn it back on, and go back into Freestyle Dash. Alright, now when you're back at your dashboard, you're going to open up your guide and notice that System Link is there, which was not there before. This is going to be used for all your in-game stuff. Now what you need to do to set this up is go back to your settings, go down to your general settings, and then go to jqe360.com, and you're going to need to link your jqe360 account to this system. It's a free account, you just go to that website and you make it. This is required to have. Next you go to your plugin settings, go over to F3 plugin, enable always on for link, and then enable the UNP in for port mapping. Now, your ports, if they're messing up a little bit, you might have to go into your router and adjust some port settings. I'm not going to cover that in here, you could find it online. But what you need to do is test everything, and if everything passes, you are good to go. So I will show you how to get into a game on here. Alright, so as you can see, I have Black Ops 2 right here because everyone has it. But what you want to do is on your game title, you want to press Y, and then go to Manage Title Updates and hit Y again to download title updates. What this will do is it will just download all. As you can see, they've downloaded here. You want to select the newest title updates. This one has three, but just select the newest version that you want to go online with. Then go back and boot up your game. Now at the main screen, whenever your game is booted up, you want to go over to System Link, and here you're going to be able to see any users. You can find users, you could add them as friends, do anything like that. It's a lot like Xbox Live. And then over to the lobby screen, you can select what room you want to join. Anyways, that's all you need to know for this, and that is how you set up Link. I hope I helped you all out with this. This is Mr. Mario, signing off. Have fun playing online. 